season of celebration, but not everyone can comfortably enjoy it. According to the National Council on Aging, millions of seniors are struggling financially. But as Zach Merchant shows us, there are billions of dollars worth of benefits already available that can help those in need. In 2021, poverty in America decreased across the board, except for one group. The census demonstrated that last year, the only group to see an increase in poverty was older adults. Poverty increased from 8.9% to 10.3%. Ramsey Alwyn, president and CEO of the National Council on Aging, estimates that nearly 6 million seniors aged 65 and older now live below the poverty line. It's a generation that built our nation, built our economy, built our communities, built our families. And that generation is struggling. According to Alwyn, the average Social Security payment is currently about $1,600 per month. For many, those payments are all they can rely on. One in four older adults rely on Social Security for 90% of or more of their income. To stretch that limited budget, some are forced to make difficult choices. Cutting pills in half, scrimping on nutritious foods. They are very resourceful, um, but they're absolutely sacrificing their health. An 8.7% cost of living increase to Social Security payments is set to kick in in January, which Owen says should provide some relief. But there are other resources already available that often go ignored. Every year, older adults leave 16 billion, billion with a B, 16 billion dollars in benefits on the table because they simply don't know about them. To see if you qualify for any of them, you can visit the National Council on Aging's website, benefitscheckup.org, or call their hotline at 800-794-6559. It will screen for one's eligibility for thousands of programs, and it can put anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars back in their wallet. A potential lifeline for a tight budget. In D.C., Zach Merchant. WUSA 9. And for a link to that benefits checkup site, just look for this story on our website, WUSA9.com.